Welcome to the Commonwealth Military Museum. We're located at the Starlight Drive-In, north of Lexington. It was founded to house the General's trophies from the Wars of Liberation. We take yours and your family's safety very seriously here with guards and automated turrets. We also have shopping and services available when you're not visiting the museum. And we also have the Safari Adventure Picnic Park for the whole family. Before we visit the museum, let's see what other facilities are available here at the museum complex. First, let's check out the retail center here on the right. It offers numerous services and products. The first, you'll notice the clinic where we have a doctor on duty as well as a surgeon. And if you need to stay overnight, they've got accommodations. We've also got the uh, museum grill, as well as plenty of shopping. And get everybody in the family a haircut with our styling salon. But if you're going to look your best, we also have clothing and armor available. Our top floor is reserved for our guests, so you'll have a very scenic view from the guest bunkhouse. And I know a lot of you will appreciate the indoor plumbing that's available to you with clean, potable water and no threat from radiation. As you can see, it's a lovely view from up here. Now let's head on outside. The General's residence is over there on the right. Before we go into the museum, let's check out our arcade center. All of our machines have been mechanically fully restored and are quite playable. All you have to do is drop your caps in the token machine and you're ready to play. Now, if mechanical games aren't your thing, how about an old-fashioned game of pool? Nothing like a beer and a game of pool with friends to wrap up a day. The artifacts you are about to see have all been collected by the General. None are clones or copies. All came from the field of battle or were bought with plunder from it. Here you'll notice a small selection from our extensive collection of power armor, these featuring fancy paint jobs. But first, let's head into the Critter Gallery. Many of these will be familiar to us, but a few were great threats in the dark times of the Wars of Liberation and were threats that the General faced on an almost daily basis. Thankfully, many of them have been eradicated from the vicinity of our towns and villages. Now we'll enter the Hall of Heavy Weapons and view the uh, Temporary display on the UIF, forces that recently attempted to invade the Commonwealth and were turned back by the General and the forces of the Minutemen. Next we'll visit the uh, Allies and Friends Hall, starting with the Brotherhood of Steel, with a representation of their great flying Zeppelin, as well as the large logistical footprint they had in the Commonwealth. You can tell the different ranks by looking at the marking on the sleeves of the power armor. Next we have the Minuteman display and you can see the general in a staff meeting. And also notice in the back we seem to be infested with gnomes. Keep an eye out, there may be others throughout the building. And let's don't forget the men and women who man the barricades and do the hard work keeping the Commonwealth safe. And of course, there's our friends the Adam Cats. And if you're looking for a good time, you can't beat good neighbor. Diamond City, only place that rivals us for shopping. And of course, the railroad. Folks with a heart of gold. Next, we'll head upstairs and start checking out the foes like 
the super mutants. Note that each diorama includes weapons typical of the group being profiled. Next up we have the Children of Adam, the religious fanatics that have infested both the Commonwealth and Fahaba. Speaking of that fog-bound land, there are the Trappers. After a triumphant captain's dance, the citizens of Fahaba awarded the general this outfit. Here is the Hall of Power Armor, which includes representations of each model type, as well as various key advertising tie-ins with the various products of the Commonwealth pre-war. We'll be adding further enhancements to the Cola Wars exhibit in the near future. And the ones everybody loves to hate, good old vault -Tec. As you can see, we're still looking for some artifacts to add to that exhibit. And of course, the Raiders. People who get in everybody's face for booze and drugs. Heading upstairs, we're confronted with probably the most dangerous organization in the Commonwealth after the Institute, the nuclear and power suit armed gunners. And welcome to our Nuka World exhibit. It's a tough challenge to try to condense all of Nuka World down into just half a floor on a museum. Upon entering Nuka World, the general was forced to defeat the overboss using what? And as the new overboss, he managed to pit the various factions against each other, and once again the Minutemen triumphed over the forces of evil. Again, it's very important to realize that all of these artifacts were gathered from the field of battle. And of course we have a, the map of Nuka World, what a place it must have been before the war. In addition to the safari park outside, each of the other Nuka World zones are represented here. That's Oswald the Outrageous, King of the Ghouls in Kitty Kingdom. And no trip to Nuka World would be complete without Cappy and Bottle. And of course you can take a picture with them. Leaving Nuka World, we encounter the Mechanist, whose well-intentioned plans almost wiped out humanity in the Commonwealth. Speaking of wiping out humanity, there's the Institute and all their glorious evil, their coursers, and of course their chief henchman, Kellogg. No exhibit on the Commonwealth would be complete without a look at pre-war fashions. Since this is still what we wear to parties, we, we can still find them intact. Those fashions include recreation, as well as home, and at work. During his travels, the general even found the costume for Gronach the Barbarian. And everyone's hero, the Silver Shroud. And the general wanted to make sure we remembered his good friends who helped him free the Commonwealth. And let's take a moment to remember all those who fell so that we could live free. Thanks for joining me on this brief tour and I hope you visit our facility soon.
Please subscribe so you don't miss museum news, including our plans for a museum in Virginia.